The IPv4 internet space has been predicted to run out 20 years ago. With the explosion of smartphone devices, this is happening now. This is an inflection point in the history of the internet. IPv6 alone is clearly not a solution today. It might be in the future. Maybe my grandchildren will see that. There has to be a long period of coexistence where we will have a continuum of solution that will help the internet grow to a much larger entity than it is today. One of the challenges in front of enterprises today who want to make their content available over IPv6 is to not disrupt the delivery of those contents over IPv4. Cloud computing is a very interesting approach to externalize some of the services. And it's also a great opportunity to introduce at the same time IPv6 um, by focusing the effort on only one part of the network. If you're a service provider and you're growing, you need to connect more and more people to the network. What you will have to do is essentially do more with less. At some point, you will have to share addresses among your customers. And we have technologies to do that. Juniper has some great silicon that can forward IPv4 packet and IPv6 packet at the exact same speed. Um, Juniper has also been working on CGNAT to share IPv4 addresses among customers. And we are working with seven out of the 10 largest service provider to test and deploy those technologies. The exhaustion of the IPv4 space is actually a great opportunity to take a hard look at the network, but the sky is not falling.